for all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description, and if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Interactive Road to Division 1, episode number 16 now, and of course this is the series where you guys pick the teams that we play with, heading through the ranked divisions, looking for that Division 1 title. And believe it or not, after uh, only recently getting ourselves into this league, we actually stand a chance of winning yet another title and gaining yet another promotion from this particular episode. The, uh, the first uh, team that we've had suggested is the Italian national side. It's not the first national side that we've used. We've only used a couple though with Sweden and Germany I think to date but uh, the suggestion comes in from Fuji720p, Bryce Henry, Mr. FIFA 14, Jack Whittaker, Ahmed Badafra, AFC, Azza X and Into the Ring. So uh, thanks to you guys for uh, for suggesting the Italian national team. Actually a team that uh, I'm playing quite or am actually playing with on uh, Ultimate Team for a series that will be starting uh, tomorrow actually on the channel. So it's kind of ironic that you guys chose the uh, the Italian national side and uh, there'll be more on that tomorrow but in fact there is uh, something very very important coming to you today later on this afternoon in your sub boxes there will be a, a mini episode to the Chelsea career mode that is extremely vital that I get plenty of feedback on so uh, do be sure to keep an eye on me do be sure to keep an eye on uh, on your sub boxes for that later this afternoon note to self don't drink fizzy pop before we're doing a commentary, but unfortunately the connection kind of got really choppy in this game after about uh, after about what well, just after half time, and uh, I couldn't really do much. And then he just decided to uh, to score an own goal in the uh, in the thirty in the thirtieth in the ninetieth minute. So we won out three 0 winners. Um, it wasn't the best of games to be completely honest, but. Uh, you know, a win's a win. Three points are three points. Unfortunately, there aren't many highlights because of the uh, the dodgy connection. But uh, fortunately, it solved itself for the uh, for the next game, which is Werder Bremen. Now, are these guys? weren't the best to play with it has to be said they've lost a couple of important players over the past couple of years and uh, this suggestion comes in from Ahmed Badaf from Mr. FIFA 14 Julie Wilkes Callum Whitelock and Leonidas Papadopoulos wowzers trying to say a Greek name really really fast is actually quite difficult but uh, anyway Werder Bremen we come back up against Crystal Palace now they've recently got uh, a couple of really good loan signings in and uh, actually during the January transfer window strengthened a lot especially with the likes of Tom Ince as you can see here they've injected a lot of pace into the side and they played actually Glenn Murray and Marouan Shamak Marouan Shamak up top and they had Dwight Gale on the bench so he's definitely had pace to bring on later on in the game but uh, I found the first half very very tough indeed he was good at the game Crystal Palace were a decent counter-attacking side in fact with uh, with the pace of Ince and Balassi etc and uh, unfortunately Werder Bremen I really struggled with wasn't able to get uh, kind of a handle on how the team felt until the second half I just struggled for the majority of the first and uh, we're going to give the ball away here on the edge of the box Thomas Ince is going to turn inside and that is a fantastic finish with his left foot across the goalkeeper into the bottom corner really really tidy accurate finish in off the post and he took a deserved 1-0 lead just before we went in for the break but just after the break we were almost going to get ourselves back in it how Aaron Hunt hasn't been able to at least get that shot on target I have absolutely no idea it was really really poor from him you've just got to keep that down in that situation and he's blazed it over really disappointed but we were going to get a chance to, uh, to get ourselves on the score sheet not too long after that. We've got about 20 minutes left of the game and Aaliyah picks up the ball on the edge of the box. Nice feet to turn away from one. Acceleration to get away from another. He's going to try and drill it across and uh, he actually scores an own goal. So uh, this time it's an own goal that uh, wasn't intended but great finish. Lovely side footed volley into the back of the net. So uh, that's two games and two own goals so far. And uh, we're actually into the uh, the 88th minute. Now great save from uh, the goalkeeper there from Aaron Hunt. Julius Speroni diving up to his left hand side we're going to whip the ball in with uh, with Hunt again himself and up goes Calidora or Cadia Larola I'm not really too sure how to pronounce that name but great header towering header to it in fact win us the game late on so despite playing really really badly and uh, not enjoying playing with the side I was able to grind out three points and grind out a victory so we're very very happy with that and I came into the uh, the third game of the episode as Wolfsburg a team that are better than Werder Bremen and with players that uh, I was in looking forward to using like Naldo, Luis Gustavo, Verinha, Perisic, De Bruyne, Olitz etc I was hoping for another positive display but we come up against Schalke very very strong strong German side as well with the likes of uh, Klaas Jan Huntelaar, Kevin Prince Boateng and uh, you know Julian Draxler the uh, the standout young talent there but uh, this suggestion comes in from Toxic Flash and Bryce Henry so thanks to you two for the suggestion of Wolfsburg but uh, he was going to get himself off to uh, to a very very good early start he's yet another own goal 
we've had one in every single game now and I tried to I was hammering B to clear it and rather than just kick it clear he decided to slide and I think the extra time taken to get down and slide and take that uh, do that animation was actually the sole reason that the ball actually ended up crossing the line so I was really disappointed with that but nonetheless we have to uh, we have to come back from 1-0 down we did it in the previous game so hopefully we can do it again and Verinha came close there with a decent shot not too much power behind it though and it was straight down the goalkeeper's throat but into the second half Ivica Olic was having a good effort he's got some pace about him he's not as quick as he used to be and he's definitely not as young as he used to be but still an effective striker if you can use him in the right way and Kevin De Bruyne is going to whip the ball in here up goes Naldo the goalkeeper gets there first a bit of a scramble the uh, the shot is eventually blocked by the defender not the goalkeeper and it falls to Naldo yet again and we're able to get ourselves back on level terms literally just after the break so we're hoping to try and push on like we did in the previous game with the other German side Werder Bremen and uh, pick ourselves three points if we possibly could but literally just five minutes after we brought it back level he was going to get himself back in front a fantastic race away from uh, Kevin Prince Boateng and a good finish with his uh, with his weaker left foot into the top corner not really too much my goalkeeper could have done about that and uh, unfortunately he was going to have another chance here Julian Draxler drills the ball across Farfan picks it up on the far side all that needed was a deflection from a defender and that could have been another own goal but uh, unfortunately we have to wait to the 92nd minute for our next opportunity Kevin De Bruyne is going to do the business the shot, the cross rather, is going to get blocked. He's going to cut inside and try and find that far bottom corner. He can't quite get there. The keeper saves it and unfortunately it doesn't drop kindly for us in the box we are going to take a defeat from this final game so we can't quite grab the division 5 title but uh, we've got plenty of time to do so as you can see we've got two games remaining we need just a point to get that division 5 title we've already got promotion into division 4 so that's very very good indeed so leave me some suggestions in the comment section down below for teams you would like me to use in the next episode to try and get that division title and get our next promotion we've absolutely flown through the division so far so fingers crossed that we can continue to do that for the rest of this series if you're new to the channel and you'd like to subscribe there's a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that right fist follow me on twitter as well to keep up to date with everything that goes on in the channel uh, especially that important career mode video that's coming up later on this afternoon do be sure to check that out when it hits your sub boxes around about seven o'clock this evening and of course if you missed the previous episode there's a link to that on screen as well over that left hand fist there but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching leave the video a like if you did enjoy that'd be superb and uh, i will see you later on tonight